Mom, are you filming a video? Yeah, did you find a scorpion? Yeah! There are any dangerous snakes or things along those lines. It's also, I'm sure, will come in handy. Find eight scorpions. The Keen and Pixies! Hola, beautiful familia and amigos, <laughs> beautiful friends and family. Yeah. We've got some beautiful, big new and exciting news that yeah. we want to share with all of you <laughs> and, um, and that we are asking your help and your support for. Yeah, we pretty much, um, we've entered into a competition to win a free yacht. So how did we end up here, entering a boat giveaway? Let's back up a little bit, shall we? Hi there, we are the Keenan Pixies, a South African family that sold everything we had and moved across the Atlantic to the Central American country of Panama. We are Denzel, the amazing musician, myself, Genevieve, happiest when I can create, Jade Erin, a sensitive soul with the most caring heart, and Bella Fleur, a little butterfly that loves to sing all of whom feel our absolute best when we're out and about exploring nature. Welcome to our story. Who knows what adventure is next? In our last video, you would have seen our year at home and us getting ready to leave and embark on our next adventure. But before we do so, there were some really special moments captured, sort of like a time capsule that we really wanted to share with you. From gardening to coffee to scorpions and cleaning and we would also love to share with you all about our new dream our latest dream our heartfelt dream about sailing i really hope you enjoy this glimpse into our lives and as always we are sending you our love hello from beautiful future <laughs> Fleur. Just one or two quick things that I would like to share with you. I'm done so all day, no all day, no all day, no so now. If you haven't subscribed Scott yet, but you would like to do so, please go ahead and click the subscribe button as well as the bell button so that you know when we have new videos coming out. You can also, you can also please support us by becoming one of our Patreons. As you will see in this video, some of the clips, the mic was not working properly, so I greatly apologize for that. Um, but you know, as the saying goes, you live and learn. So once again, thank you so much for being here. We really greatly appreciate it. And we send you so much love from our hearts to yours. So we have this little deck outside and since day one that we arrived I had said that I would love to clean it and it will be so beautiful when the sun rises to do a bit of yoga out here and there's some chairs and sit for some reading um, but we've been here for a month and I still haven't done that. I'm going to clean it and see if we can get this show on the road. As a typical newbie to Panama and of course new to anything rainy season related as it rains six months out of the year here in Boquete, it's needless to say that this actually never happened. However, myself and the kids did enjoy spending a lot of time out on the deck, planting and playing and gardening a few pot plants here and there. During our time of the year, Denzel actually helped out in the garden a little bit and it was great to keep the area around our home clear but also to encourage us all to get familiar with new plants that we have never seen before. Your machete, babe. This has got oh, a number on, I'm not sure it's number three, maybe. It's 40. They actually super useful. Um, it's a 
better design, I think personally, than the what did we have in South Africa? Bush knife kind of. Banga. Banga. <laughs> could be banga. Mm. Uh, these are just useful for clearing um, the bush. Uh, the jungle grows pretty quickly around here, so uh, just for clearing, it's very awesome. And if there are any dangerous snakes or things along those lines, it's also, I'm sure, will come in handy. But uh, very and nice. And you, um, you what do you call it? A sheath or a what? Yes, the sheath is over there. <laughs> this uh, this uh, machete was $4.65. And then the leather sheath was about 6 or $7. I'm not sure exactly. Handmade. Handmade. It's a little bit rough but it certainly works and it's I think it's pretty cool so this thing operates like this oh, careful. it just needs a bit of a sharpen because when they come from the shop then they're not sharp so I'm busy now just with a metal metal file just giving it a, a bit of an edge so so I thought I'll share a little bit more about our dream of sailing and how we ended up actually entering the boat competition. When we immigrated, immigration can be very dark and very scary sometimes and it definitely was for us. And what became a light of hope, a glimmer of hope at the end of the tunnel was us actually watching a lot of YouTube videos about adventuring specifically van life and tiny homes on wheels as that was what we initially wanted to do was to build a tiny home on wheels when intuition calls and it's so loud and it's so clear one would be an, a fool not to follow it with your heart or at least this is our belief and in 2021 we acted upon that call in a gigantic astronomical manner and maybe the time is now upon us to do something like that again and that's where sailing comes in Okay, your side? Uh, it smells so good. It's a citronella. Really nice. Just chopping it back so that we can walk through easily there without getting spiders or scorpions on us. So one of these glimmers of hope was finding Plucky on his YouTube channel, Sailing Into Freedom. And Denzel had been going onto websites at night time looking for free boats within our area or close to us. Um, bo or boats that were cheap enough for us to buy and then renovate that we can turn into our home and lo and behold Placomedes <laughs> had a boat giveaway that was running and we found this competition and we entered and um, it really sparked new life into our household new life into our dream made a delicious looking salad. Thank you, my love. Pleasure, babe. Are you cooking up a storm? Mm. What are you cooking? Uh, some veggies. Uh, we've got, uh, what's that called? Shushu. And onion and green pepper. Baby marrow. Eggplant. Yuca. And a little bit of mince. And we're going to put it together uh, with some tomato and make it Trace a making pasta yeah. due to the amount of rain Bagita gets the plants can actually become ill if they don't have proper draining here Denzel is working with a lime tree to provide better soil drainage he starts by digging a deeper trench so that the water can easily run down and away from the base of the tree he then lays a normal PVC water pipe in the ground with which the excess water can easily run into the drainage system in addition, he also planted amadumbes, which are water-loving plants, and they will absorb some of the water and prevent moss from growing on the soil. Okay, are you ready? You finished? Yes. 
Let's go see yeah. out the yurt. Yeah. You ready? Put my on. Okay. Do we have torch number two? Yes. We do. Let's go. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. We um, are outside scorpion hunting because we found about six scorpions in our yurt. And um, so JD Boo found one. Let's go see. Don't go close to the rocks. Sit up with your bum. Get him. Are you filming? Yeah, look at that. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Right there. Something's in my pants. It's biting me. Probably just the mosquito. Somebody like left in a cave for eight months. You're very scaredy pants. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Guys, I'm the closest one. I'm the one that has to catch them. You scorpions have night vision. I'm a bit dumb, but still. Yeah, they do. Okay. Yeah, I'm all good. Mom? So if it was a scorpion, I definitely Mom, know. Can you, Mom? So I think um, with a yurt, you can't really have a big Christmas tree. Ah, I'm also feeling something in my boot now. We got JD Boo, a small little Christmas tree. And today we actually baked some cookies for Santa. And what did you do for Santa? So I baked cookies with mom. And I put like a three mints on three cookies. So, and I liked it, so I did it on three cookies. Look at mm. this, guys. Santa is getting healthy this year. Snowy car. A snowy car? Oh, that's so cute. I and I gave him a bit of tea bags. Yeah, it's probably cold in the North Pole, so you definitely need some tea. Yeah. Scorpions, Bella. Can you give me my flashlight? Ah. So, are we switching off the lights? I think it's a good idea. <laughs> okay, switching off the lights. Let me see if we find anything inside. Uh, no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That is our buddy, the massive spider, right by our door. But he only comes out at night time. Yeah, he's probably an albino. I think albinos only come out at night. <laughs> right? Okay, so this is scorpion number five. This is... Hey guys. So, we just found another baby one, so that means... Six, right? Yes. Does that count? Yeah. Six. My soul, we just found a baby. It's super tiny. You can't see it on the camera, but he's really small. Mm. Maybe that other one was his mommy. Or dad. Or daddy. Is it possible yeah. for bugs to have dads? Yeah. So, we managed to find eight scorpions. Uh -huh. That's actually pretty good. Good job. I don't know if it makes me feel better or feel worse. I don't know. It's, uh, it's sure. We're pretty much surrounded by them. Three underneath our yurt. And the rest is like very close. So then there's probably a lot more and that we, we found. Must... We also found one spider in the rocks. So <laughs> Do you feel better or worse for that experience? <laughs> I don't know if I'm feeling better or worse. I think it helps to know where they are. Yeah. What freaks me out a bit is that that's everywhere where our favorite play space spaces are in and the garden. Our Christmas tree so is we might have to play somewhere right else from now on. And the other. So subscribe for us being brave enough to live in the jungle in a yurt. Are you kidding surrounded me? Surrounded by scorpions. If you're
pretty good. I think um, if it was me making it, I'd make it a little bit stronger. <laughs> How's the coffee, Jay? I mean, I'm joking. 30 sestillion out of 10. Wow. Look back there, Yay. What do you say about the cookies, babe? The Nabu? Yes. the cookies? I think also 13 sestillion. When we stayed next to the yurt, we actually lived right next to one of the most famous coffee farms here in Panama. And they're also one of the best coffee producers in the entire world. And it is just spectacular to go there. You're able to go and take a hike. And so one day um, we decided to take the children and just go and walk through all the coffee trees to see the coffee fruits when they little red berries you can pick them off of the tree and you can eat them just like that and they have the sweetest most flavorsome fruit and to then see the coffee beans in your hand and to think about the entire process that coffee goes through before it ends up in your cup as a beautiful delicious drink is actually quite mind-boggling and it was a wonderful experience and I really wish that I could capture the mountains. Um, sometimes the camera just doesn't do it justice to show how big and how vast the jungle is. And um, when you're there and you're thinking, oh my goodness, I'm standing in the middle of this nature. I'm standing in the middle of this beauty. I'm standing in the middle of this vastness. It's just this overwhelming sense of awe that floods you and I wish that that is something that every person can get to experience for themselves. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you Dale, our Patreon. Yeah, unfortunately we did not win the boat, um, but uh, we will still endeavor yeah. to try and see what we can do to get on the water one day. Uh, that is definitely part of the plan. Yeah, and for our full video entry, yeah. we're going to leave it in the description. You can head over to Plucky's channel and you can watch the yeah. video yeah. there. That is Sailing Into Freedom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sailing yeah. Into Freedom. Go, go subscribe to them. Yeah. Show them some respect. <laughs> Thank you, Dale, for um, helping us keep our spirits high and for lifting our heads and for helping us to really finish this video. It really gave us the inspiration and the motivation that we needed. Yeah. And um, we send you all our love to everybody. Cheers. Adios. Ciao. Cheers. Maybe that's how we should end from now on. Yeah. Peace out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Go, one, two, three. Peace out. Peace out. One, two, three. Peace, Peace out. out.